So this is uh, this is such type of output you will be obtaining while the program get run at the end. So let me give you a brief introduction about the program. So this is my model. Okay, and uh, I'll show you the data first. That's my data. Opening date, uh, I have collected data from 2000 till 2017. Okay, you can get this data from Yahoo, Google, or from anywhere. Okay, every country have this data, open source. Even Ga Google, uh, Google provide APIs to fetch the data. So, for getting more introductory session, I just collected the data and CSV and save is at CSV. So I take in few of the attribute like the opening price of market, the highest price of the market, total volumes and the closing price. So whenever we building the model for a stock market, our target is to locate the closing price of the market. Okay. Think about, I'm, I'm giving you an example. Think about that you are buying, uh, you are in, you are a trader. Okay and you buy some resource uh, you buy uh, stock at the morning okay and in the morning time you have buy a res buy stock at the price of 6.68 okay and you use that day our model our, um, our model t told you that the closing price will be 7.77 okay so that mean if you invested 1 lakh usd and you buy uh, stocks at the rate of 6.68 so in the evening while while you were you will be selling your resources or uh, stocks okay you will be getting huge profit in a single day the more than 10 percent profit that means if you invest 10 1 lakh at the morning you will be getting 1 lakh 10 thousand at the evening okay and that's a huge okay um, Apart from a stock, you cannot get. Ah, uh, yeah, you can get such type of huge profit in betting also. But yeah, these are the only sources. So people, yeah, lots of lots of people are working in a stock market prediction, betting system prediction, and uh, few other prediction system like uh, we are doing. So uh, yeah, without wasting your time, I yeah, people who do trading must have seen such type of data. So let me show you how deep learning is changing. Okay. So uh, this is very simple model here I get load the data okay and yeah as I told you how four line changing changes the world so these are the four line one two three four this is my four line model a simple RNN okay uh, yeah I use bi-directional because uh, yeah there's an advantage of by bi using bi-directional uh, with simple RNN or with LSTM or with G GRU I'll show you how what is the difference between simple RNN, GRU, and LSTM? I can uh, I'll show you the implementation of all these models in this. Okay, so here I go. Okay, I run this model. Okay, and I'll show you the plotting of what type of output will be obtaining. Okay, for uh, yeah, for quick understanding and better, uh, I just reduce the number of epoch. I'll just use ten, ten epoch, and the batch size I have used here hundred. Okay. Uh, I, I, I do not use a stateful model because uh, a stateful model works uh, not work better in case of a stock market okay a stateful model is work better when you are estimating the server consumption how what is the user behavior how much power is going to use by the user wh how many CPUs is going to buy user because these are some straight relation but a stock market a stock market is something different you cannot say anything all, all you require all, uh, all you have uh, behavior of previous market uh, even if previous market do not tell you the exact behavior of the uh, next prediction so this is uh, th this time I'm um, so you okay uh, for quick implementation and you will see okay so uh, here I uh, I build a function get data you will get the data so I'll show you uh, each module okay the training and test module so let me uh, let me give you a briefing okay uh, I, I just initialize debugging first so that I can show you the X train and Y train data yeah it's asking me to load the data and let me load it yeah stock data dot CSV so debugging is complete. I'll show you what it contain the X train. 
X train contains simply the opening high and number of volumes. Okay. And what contain the Y train? Y train is the target matrix, the closing price of the market. This is the Y train matrix. Okay, I have stopped the debugging again. Yeah, I just stopped it. Okay, so here I go. I used PyCharm here. So this is my model. Okay, uh, so let me run the model, full model, and we'll show you the output. I'm using simple RNN here, and these are the four line code, the four line which change your life. Okay, if you understand it deeply, and if you can, you would be able to interpret this thing. Okay, these four line code, then it will, it can change your life. It, yeah, definitely. If you are a trader, then you must know about this thing. Or uh, if you want to, want me to build a massive system. Okay, which can make you rich. Yeah, yeah it is making me rich also. But you know, money, money is the one of the aspect. Nobody gets satisfied. So I, I, I want to get, um, get more rich. So, okay, if my friend, uh, let me run this model. So here I opt for data. It takes some time. Here the training goes. And you can see, in a single epoch, I have achieved a loss of 0.01% training loss. So here you get the predicted output. You can see how a prediction is following the trend of market. Okay like this sometime it is almost overlapping the market trend but yeah definitely it do not avoiding uh, do not uh, distract it from the path it all uh, almost almost following the trend if you if I in increase the number of epoch uh, if I increase from yeah this is the model of RN yeah sorry uh, if I increase the number of epoch from 10 to 200 I'll be getting a plot which is almost almost overlapping and having accuracy 99.95% even this plot let me show you again you can see this accuracy of 95 and 96% in 10 epoch only and the loss is 0.1% okay which is the target loss I set it so uh, let me let's see what happen if I change the simple RNN from LSTM? So let's see wh what will happen if LSTM runs. I again run the program. I choose the stock data CSV. As you can see, LSTM is much slower than simple RNN. You know, there's an advantage of simple RNN. It fetch all the data and get back at the beginning. Okay. And again, fetch the data, get back in the beginning. And it works well with bidirectional. But even if LSTM is, uh, you can see LSTM, is, uh, the loss, is, loss in LSTM is also going down. In successive 10 epoch, the LSTM loss would, will be achieved around 0.2%, uh, uh, which is yeah, which is quite good, but not as much good as in case of simple RNN. I'll show you the implementation of GRE all, uh, also. I hope with the with, while with watching this video, many people will uh, learn about the time series model, how it is being implemented, what are the advantage of these things. You can build such type of model anywhere you want. The advantage of LSTM, the model is quite stable as compared to RNN. You are getting a stable result. But uh, you know, as, uh, as you can see, the variation in case of LSTM is little higher than the simple RNN. So what happened if uh, I replace this uh, G G LSTM with the GRU? Let's see, let's see what will happen.
Yo, man. You know, these four lines. Oh, I love these four lines. Uh, it takes me almost uh, years to understand the meaning of four line and how it can change your life. And uh, today I'm sharing this thing with you people. Because of your response, I, uh, you people responded me well. And uh, with the help of four line, uh, I'm, just, I'm just spreading my knowledge to you. I hope you will like this thing. So let me op open the 